Worldwide market demand for original artwork is booming, but sophisticated frauds and forgeries remain a problem that continues to damage the integrity of the entire art community. In some cases, forgers have successfully switched original works with their own copies, after removing them from their original premises under the guise of performing restoration work, as in the case of this self-portrait by Dura. Albrecht Dürer's self-portrait painting was hung in the Nuremberg Town Hall from the 16th century until 1799, when it was lent to the painter Kufner, who made a copy of it and returned the copy in place of the original. The forgery was discovered in 1805, when the original which came up for sale was purchased for the royal collection. As it stands, there are far too many opportunities out there for fraud and forgeries to continue unless something is done to counter this lucrative tidal wave of criminal activity. According to the FBI's art crime team, art fraud costs gallery owners, collectors, and insurance companies billions of dollars in property losses every year. Verifying authenticity is something that only a qualified expert can do. Methods are very diverse, ranging from visual examination to the use of laboratory equipment like ultraviolet and X-ray machines. While these current practices are effective, they are simply too expensive and too disruptive to be practical for the day-to-day -day needs of galleries, collectors and dealers. Every day, circumstances arise that place art at risk, most of them unavoidable. For instance, it has to be sent out for restoration or framing. It could be on loan at exhibitions or in storage. Essentially, any time it is out of sight, the artwork is vulnerable to manipulation and forgery. It's a concern that collectors and dealers share, so we built a 3D scanning system specifically targeting this challenge. We needed a way to verify that the artwork returned to us was the same as the artwork we sent out. We developed a method that was both cost and time effective and provided a solution for this problem. Authenticating can be a lengthy process, so instead of re-authenticating, we focused on verifying the identity of the artwork. The solution came to us through our research into three-dimensional imaging and reverse engineering that led to the development of the NanoD system. With the NanoD system, we can create a digital fingerprint of any artwork. This digital fingerprint is traceable, comparable and completely unique. The degree of precision is so accurate that it can identify an artwork with certainty. With the NanoD service, once it's captured, the artwork cannot be substituted. NanoD system does not replace the expert. It enhances their toolset by providing evidence-based digital verification technology. The 3D scanning system that was developed is based on reverse engineering with nanoscale capability and renders a three-dimensional presentation of an object. Similar systems are being used by Harvard University and the Smithsonian Institute for archaeological research projects, and according to an article published in The Telegraph in London, several major European museums and universities are using 3D scanning systems in fields that were not previously accessible. In this presentation, I will show how the NanoD system works. I will compare two original lithographs by Marc Chagall from 1973. They were both printed on paper from the same lithographic stone, so they are identical. I will scan in this part of the images, and I will show the deviation between them. NanoD uses fringe projection method, which allows for non-contact digital fingerprinting of artwork. The solution uses cutting-edge technology and precise point cloud measurements that renders the three-dimensional image. After scanning, they can be moved around, clearly showing they are three-dimensional objects. Here we can see the captured image in regular view. Now zooming in and turning on the Nano D view, one can see the surface of the paper, 
It's heavily textured, like a topographical map, with hills and valleys. This nanoscale capability provides the extremely high resolution which can be used to perform digital comparison. Switching to the photographic view again, and then back to the Nano D view. The printed part is clearly visible here as well. Now, in order to do the comparison, the layers can be placed on top of each other. We place them onto each other manually, and then the software will help to do the fine alignment. The results will be used for further analysis. Here, we see the final result. The green highlighted area shows where the two papers match, and the blue and red parts show the differences. Although they are both originals, and they were both printed from the same medium, with the Nano D system, I can show the differences between these two works of art. An oil painting has also been scanned in, in order to show the more defined brush strokes appearing in the 3D view. The Nano D solution creates a unique digital fingerprint as a reference for future comparative analysis. Authentication never needs to be repeated. The secured digital file can be used for verification purposes indefinitely. Since the Nano D system creates a high-resolution 3D image of any surface, it can be used for any art medium, such as sculptures, paintings, and even paper-based graphic works. I have had countless conversations with fine art dealers and insurance experts and we all agree that one of our greatest challenges is maintaining the integrity of transactions. From now on, after the digital fingerprint is taken by the Nano D system, the artwork cannot be replaced and passed on as an original, even if it was accompanied by genuine certificates. This solution creates the digital evidence that ensures that our professional practices keep pace with the advances in technology. The Nano D service provides the certainty that dealers and insurance companies need in order to protect themselves from even the most sophisticated forgeries.